two, three, four. Down to the VHS. VHS. Down to the VHS. It's the A team of the VHS. We're never down in the house and doing stuff. So we do our five revisions. And I guess that's the way it goes. Send it up on the metal max. Down on the VHS. VHS. Down on the VHS. Is that working now? Yes. Uh, yeah. Why is that? Flash, thank you, Bibs. So, um, greetings and welcome to Obscure Tape Time, the show where we watch VHS in their entirety and invite you to suffer along with us. From start to finish. And suffer through technical glitches nearly every episode. Every fucking episode. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just have to... Yeah, 
we'll get there. You gotta redo everything now? That's crazy. So copy these one by one. One by one. I don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna say, hey, since last episode I got real sick, but what it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't the type of sick where I was uh, uninspired to do anything, at least after the first few days when I nearly died. Um, and I've been cleaning up the lounge room and I've had so many tapes just stack up over the... I mean, this year has been kind of slow for my brain. And I've been going through all the tapes and I've been looking at what's on every single one of them. I found a couple of, like, coin movies, which is nice. And a couple of other interesting things which we're going to have to w uh, watch on the show. I hear water running. That's not good. I'll have to try to finish this. Oosh. <laughs> Today, Jackson is home, which means we have some... Uh, Distractions in the background. Jackson distractions. Indeed, we do. Hopefully so that's we... a little better on the volume now. So uh, I decided not to bring over some one of the, the couple of things that I had in mind for a show very soon that were very kind of not kid-friendly. <laughs> not as in, like, gross, just, you know, boring. <laughs> I mean, he's probably not going to pay attention anyway. But, no, he might. But the idea is, when he's home, we'll try to put something on that he might want to watch. Yeah, that's it, just in case he decides yeah. that I mean, he wants to... You were just down. saying before, while we were muted, that you've been rather sick, and I've been rather sick. Yeah, too. illness he's has gone very sick. much he, through that. He seems fine today, <laughs> yeah. running around happy. Sometimes, even when he's sick, he seems fine, and oh, it's okay. annoying, because, like... Well, at the moment, I hear whoop, whoop, whoops like monkeys, and he's got the taps on. Yeah, monkey is definitely the kind of word to describe his behavior. <laughs> Cheeky little monkey. Oh, I'm going to go for the stop. Anyway, why are we Pella and TSC today? Uh, we got two Pell as far as I know. Pell.
Yeah, hey, they've got the microphone back for a little bit. Hey, hey, there we go. <laughs> All right. I don't know why things are fucking up. No, I don't know. I'm so mad. <laughs> so, as I was saying, we've um we've brought in two tapes. We have we have a, a nasty cat cartoon. This is um non-violent animation. Uh, do you remember we watched I Want to Know? Uh, like a cartoon series that was just teaching th people. Like where wind comes from and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I think so. That that does ring a bell. I like that. Um, before the the best part of that video was the um, the trailers that happened before because they had some really interesting looking tunes that I'd never heard of, and I looked them up and like I couldn't find any of them except for one of the space anime ones, and I was really upset because I wanted to watch some. And then this came up in one of the piles that I got recently, uh, and I'm like I recognize that. And yeah, it's the same. Kind of uh, company that brought them out, non-violent kids animation, which I thought was non cool. Non-violent. So, so I thought if the kids running around the background, you might see some cartoons and come sit and watch. But also, you recommended trains, and I found this tape. Uh, it's called Climbing the Summit. It's actually a V-line tape. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's an actual V-line. I, I fast-forwarded it a little bit to see what it was this morning. The guy introduces it, but otherwise, it's just trains. And Rad. Slow, slow watching trains is always nice and relaxing. So, so chat. Uh, we'll start with the cartoons, and then we're gonna have some more problems. My headphones just turned off. <laughs> anyway, um, I hate my life. Start with the cartoons, you reckon? Yeah, start with the cartoons. We're gonna leave it for chat. But if you if you want to take, no, oh, we'll go with the cartoons. This is an X rental. We've got weekly hire sticker on it, which is nice. Oh, ouch! Sorry. Uh, NT, uh, the power's on the left. Power's on the left. Nice. Let's just make sure it's wound all the way. So yeah, we're going to watch some kitty cat cartoons. The Nasty Cat, Volume 1. we got The Path Covered by a Book, Let's Make a Picture, Addition, A Story with Glue, Subtraction, and The Troublesome Photo. Oh no, not The Troublesome Photo. It yeah. says non-violent, but it doesn't say anything about sexually explicit. No, no. Tom, the nasty cat, and his hilarious companions lead us into the world of adventure, knowledge, and edumacation. Not edumacation. Yep, Boo. The show, I was, I was going to bring over some math cartoons. You'd be, be okay. <laughs> Boo. No, but learning is, is for nerds. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, the episodes show a broad spectrum, including how to count and multiply to funny explanations of how printing is done. You want to learn how printing is done? That felt like a very convoluted sentence. Yeah? Yeah. It had a spider in it once. Cool. <laughs> just wanted to... Soft plastic rentals. Way cool. Alright. Put the children sticker on it. Look at all of Tom's lovely friends. Good old Tom. Wow, this really wasn't rewound at all. I just pulled this one out. I don't even know if it's right. I got excited and didn't check. I checked the V-Line video. I hope it's been taped over with pornography. <laughs> we'll soon find out. <clears throat> Some nasty cat pornography. You know what else I haven't done? I don't know what you haven't done. Yeah, apparently it's not a... Oh, there it is. It should be alright. The audio to the tape? Yeah, I guess so. We'll soon find out, I suppose. It seems to be cracked on a little bit. Time for VHS. Hello. There we go. Tape. Copyright 1968. Cool. Oh, it's so vanilla -y. Not as much as the Pepsi variety that was. Mm -hmm. That was too much. <laughs> Movie Master. I can't see him because my headphones are closed. You can't see 
Yeah. Movie Master is pleased oh, to announce an excellent new package of animated short feature films for children of all ages. Good. This excellent series of non-violent animation films featuring storylines and settings full of excitement, imagination and delightful characters has been yeah. created with the highest standards We've in mind. We've seen this trailer before. It does look very My windows and everything. Gory and Gregor is a story about a typical Gory boy and, and his Gregor. funny little mate, Gory, his duck. Gore, they set out Gore, to help some friends Gore. who are in a jam. The results are hilarious. You couldn't find two more heartwarming hilarious. friends than Balanel the little dog and Mianel the little cat. In this highly educational series of over 50 episodes, they bumble and fumble their way through life's mysteries in a most entertaining way. They meet the store the and the pigeon. They play with the vacuum cleaner and learn how to ring the bell. They compete with the little pig and the duckling and even Biggie become parents bar. against their will. A truly against wonderful their will. children's animation <laughs> series. Delta Don't Space Mission like takes that. us on a fantastic futuristic adventure filled journey into far off galaxies. I the think Delta this is team the one that's face their YouTube. greatest challenge as their spaceship the encounters a catastrophic ones. volcanic eruption. The heroes are saved by the discovery of a weird and wonderful time machine. Weird and wonderful. The Three Musketeers is a delightful story old, about uh, the adventures of three Russian mice and a dog who imitate the exploits of their namesakes in the Alexander Dumas novel The Three Musketeers. We follow the adventures the three of our heroes as they encounter a group it? of cats who are determined to yeah. make off with the contents <laughs> of the sausage shop being guarded by the Musketeers. You know what I want to know? Why is it the Musketeers always use rapiers instead series, of muskets? A young boy and his sister explore the wonderful world of drawing as they explain the characteristics of line, point, color, and the many other elements ah, of art. The subject begins to take be on a fresh and exciting new meaning. Uh, the little detective and his faithful, right. clever dog form an amusing team in their efforts to solve the cases in which they are involved. Their unorthodox methods result in some crazy situations. Unorthodox? The wonderful world of children's animation is well served by this series, which involves hilarious encounters with pirates, typhoons, and icebergs. Hilarious. Monkey is the manager of a debt-ridden abandoned hotel on Coco Island. Nothing funnier than a typhoon. efforts to attract tourists, Monkey oh, launches no. bottles into the sea containing false messages about fictitious hidden treasures on the island. Our gullible heroes, Little Dog, Kitten and Bulldog, oh, enlist the help of enough. two suspicious characters, Tom Cat and Wolf, who lead them to the bounty. Little do they know that these two swimmers well, intend to steal the map and make off with the treasure themselves. That's another version Three of Little the Friends is a colourful and skillfully today. animated series which takes our heroes into the delightful world of animals. I Want to Know is an award winning series which will be it. thoroughly enjoyed by everyone. Know All and Boy walk through the wonderful world Boy. of nature, science, and inventions. We learn some fascinating things as our heroes lead the way. The Dauntless from the Second Story is a marvelous, refreshing, full length feature which tells the eventful story of Corina who moves to a new neighborhood and meets new school friends. Refreshing. Pin Pin is the charming story of a lovable penguin as he so flies around the world in his watch. balloon and shows us the life and nature of the world's different regions. You see the jungle, the desert, the North Pole and other fascinating areas. A brilliant space adventure story, The Last Assignment, features More Kino, sci-fi. a young boy who has lost his parents while in space. Shipwrecked on an alien planet, he encounters a strange <laughs> race of beings. From here, we follow his amazing adventures through the infinity of space was, um, until he reaches his Romanian, final destination. So Music and musical instruments are the fascinating subjects of this superb uh, yeah, animation series. Each episode explores different the instruments, well, yeah. their sounds and how they are made in a most There's unique and in innovative corner. manner. A stylized blend of entertainment, humor and education. Adventures Under the Sea. In their submarine, Kurt and Marina explore in the underwater submarine. world, encountering shipwrecks, volcanic eruptions, and dangerous sea monsters. They must have rich parents to be their able ocean to friends to their and Gizmo the robot are always ready to help them out of depths. difficult situations in this exciting underwater adventure. What could go wrong? Tom the Nasty Cat That's and what his companions today. Stefan, Little Dog, and Big Dog lead us through a world of adventure. This highly instructive seven, seven volume video Most package seven. is a must for your child's education and knowledge about the world. Ah, yeah, we live not in. just old school, but uh, movie master prides itself on the non-violent educative aspects of these internationally acclaimed cartoons, 
which will be available soon at your favorite video outlet. Thank you, flying windows. Watch your okay. Covered by a book. What language is this? Stefan is enjoying himself reading a book. It must be a very funny oh, book. Spaghetti tunes. <laughs> Here comes Tomcat. Hey, um, what's with all the laughing, Stefan? What's so hey, funny yeah. in that there book? Well, Tom can't hide, so he won't be seen. Now, let me see what was so funny that Stefan thought was in this book. Oops. I forgot about my sharp claws. No harm done. No, I'll just put the pages sense. back in the book. Oh, uh, it started um, off as going to pile yeah, just went, back like, in the book. Christopher Walken. Huh? Then what's going Hey, what's going on here? <coughs> the pages are flying. Oh, Tomcat. What have you done to my book? Whoa! I blame the cat. He made Suddenly, all the pages. Suddenly, Stefan and Tomcat are rolled up and taken away. Made. Hey, I've got a great idea. <coughs> Let's see if we can get some of these buttons to work. Push a few here, My push a few there. The word idea hey, is this is fun. <laughs> hey, Stefan, look what I've got. Are they teaching us stuff that we really don't need to know about? Happy. Look at the Printing letters moving stuff. on the conveyor belt. You be careful. We can just print photos that we take in the street now. <laughs> Don't get your whiskers caught in the machinery. <laughs> yeah, watch that. See, this you. machine stacks the letters in the numbers. They sort out their letters differently in a printing press. They don't use quality, they use agma. I've always wondered how these things work. Uh, mm, mm, I love the smell of these things. Oh, yeah? Love the smell of ink in the morning. Hey! 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 Ha uh ha! -huh. You look cat. funny with ink all now over Now he's your an head. orange cat. That means he's a showbiz cat, right? Be careful, Tomcat. It's okay because he's a boy. Oh, hey, what's going cat, on? Sir. Oh, Tomcat! <laughs> Get me out of here! Oh, look, he made a print face. Hey, it's mice! <laughs> I'm gonna catch me some. Gotcha! I've got you now, you little mouse. <laughs> little mouse. <laughs> mouse. Uh oh. Now all the pages are being cut by a very sharp guillotine. Yes. See how sharp it is. They have those at office works, and I quite often go in there and get them. To Meanwhile, cut stuff Tomcat is work. still trying to catch all the mice. Uh oh. Huh? Uh oh. You're gonna get chopped in here. Oh no! Yeah. Tomcat's under the guillotine. 
Oh, oh well. <laughs> there, you're free now. Let's just put some glue on these whiskers. Italian, apparently. There you go, good as new. Cut his whiskers mm, off, he's gonna be all better. off balance. Now, my little friend. Ow! <laughs> I mean, I'm only uh, saying what's written on the, the on the label. So. Wow! Look at all these Not books. Yeah, that's a good point. I could read forever if I had this. He didn't violently books. get cut in half. I he could have my very own library. That's some identity. Look at Whoa. all the pictures and the numbers that go into books. Yeah, but yours is all blank. All the letters, all the animals. Stefan and Tomcat sit together reading. What a wonderful day it's been. Okay. Next. Let's make a picture. This is where Tomcat, Stefan, and Big Dog uh -huh. live. Today they're watching a whole movie they made. It's Big Dog Fishing. Big Dog and look Fishing. Look at Tomcat. The movie. He's been bitten on the tail by a lobster. Sure. How come they're watching episodes of the show that we're meant to be watching episodes of in, in an episode of the show? Poor Tomcat. He's very embarrassed about it. I've got an idea. I, I would say so, yeah. Which is we fantastic. should go to the film animation studio. Learn how we were made. I want every Look single at Tom tape Cat this now. Company. He's being chased by a couple of puppies. Not their fault. Cats are instigators. Hey, what's going on? Tom Cat gets a real fright people. from the big machines. Oh no. He runs and hides. Bucharest. The artists are drawing cartoon characters. This is so meta. What the heck? Well, look at that. It's Tomcat. Oh, so it's a Romanian cartoon. What is he up to? Suddenly, Tomcat finds himself drawn on the artist's pad. Oh, no, you don't. This is crazy. This is the second episode we've ever seen, and we've already gone this meta. This is even nuts. more drawings. Tomcat peeps from inside a rubbish bin. He's getting coined. He sees another drawing of himself. Tomcat can't believe it. Tomcat's got to talk to a lawyer about likeness rights, that's what for sure. What kind of gloves are those? They like cartoon drawing gloves? He's filling himself up with ink. Tomcat's gone black. I think I'd better help him. Tomcat is not he impressed. Has his own internal compaction cleaning system for his fur. What's Tomcat up to now? He watches the animator bring his picture to life. Consume too much uh, ink. Oh, 
Tomcat gets an idea. He shouldn't have ideas. He's lying. Look what Tomcat's drawn. A fierce lion. Now, what's happening to Big Dog? In containers, different, right? I can't move anywhere. Some little stop motion animation. Tomcat figures. has been mistakenly picked up for a paper doll. Yeah. And his owner just thinks it's hilarious. But look what Tomcat can see a mouse. Oh, no, What's this? I stabbed that mouse. A pin? <laughs> Tomcat runs off. He's not going to have a pin stuck right? into him. Yeah. He runs all the way home. That works. Tomcat decides to make his own film. Big Dog will do. Take off your shirt. <laughs> Get on the couch. Sweet. Tomcat copies what he saw at the animation studio. Yeah, making the pin up model. He's using paper clips instead of pins. That's how we play uh -oh. video tapes. Not the nail, Tomcat. The answer is yes. Non-violent animation, everybody. I mean, it's okay because nails the dogs already have nails in their feet. It's been a big day, Stefan. Sleep tight. Oh, look. I know that chicken. He goes, Bop a dee, bop boo, ba doo, bow. Dee, bop do da bow. Boop a doo, ba 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 doo, It. That last episode was totally meta. It just had like the cartoonist drawing the cat. No. Tomcat is lured out of his hammock by the smell of food. <laughs> Stefan is busy preparing the tape. One, two, three, four, Is five, six, room? seven, eight, nine. <gasps> we were one bow short. That's ten. Ha <laughs> ha. Just a little bit more, and that dinner will be mine. No, you don't, Tomcat. Let's go. You're very so, bad. Oh. Mrs. Rabbit calls you home. Know I'm Two of the children hear the gong and come running to the table. Mm, where's my calculator? Oh, yeah. So yeah. Let me see. That's one plus one equals two. Oh, cool. Two plus one equals three. Whoa! Here I am. Tom, you're not a rabbit. So that makes three <laughs> rabbits plus no rabbits. It still equals and three. Mrs. Rabbit yells at Tom for frightening her children. And the little rabbits laugh. 
Well, he's doing Tom his math goes up, banging the gun. Addition. But it looks like he's up to his but old tricks again. But if he was up to multiplication, he could ask the rabbits for help, because they're really good at multiplying. That's true. He gives the, the poor little one. rabbit a terrible fright. Yeah, why Tomcat laughs at his trick. Bunnies. So let me see now. Three plus one. Well, that equals That's four. Mm. You can't trick me. Nasty. Two I mean, plus two still equals four. Two more rabbits are playing on the slide. How many rabbits are there? I guess that's what we're trying to find out. Oh god, stop with the rabbits, enough! Too many! But they run off in fright when they see Tomcat banging the gong. So that makes four plus one. Well, that equals five. And five plus one equals six. Where have you guys gone? Oh no! Way. Two. Plus four. Wait, now what are we doing? <laughs> this is getting Keep swapping sides of the table. It doesn't make any difference. Is this helping? Because three plus three equals six. Oh boy, this funny math is too quick for me. All over Two of the rabbits have walked straight into Tomcat's gong. So that's six plus one equals seven. And seven plus one. That equals eight. The poor blindfolded rabbit can't find anyone. No. Oh, yes, he can. Oh. But it's Tomcat. Tomcat. Oh. Oh. So eight plus one equals nine. Well, that's nearly everyone. Tomcat's on the lookout for the last one. But look. What's he up to now? He's, gonna He's eat stealing the their lunch. Don't steal the lunch. This is Rabbit sees her stew is missing. Mm -hmm. oh. The last little rabbit pushes the dinner back <laughs> to her mother. <laughs> Okay, we're all here. Let's see. That's nine plus one equals ten. Ten bunnies. Yay! Ten whole bunnies. Jeez, lady. Keep them closed. Mrs. Rabbit asked Tomcat to join them. Oh, me? Yummy! Yes, please! Mmm, mmm! I'm ready! Um. Yeah! I hate carrots! <laughs> you knew what was in the bowl! All the rabbits laughed. He wasn't paying attention. You should have. Spirits! Yeah, that. Yeah. That was the moral. Pop a dee pop doo pop doo pop dee pop doo pop doo Story with the loop. It's gonna have bosses in it? Probably. Watching children screaming in the background. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll keep watching the cat. I is wonder what that silly tomcat is up to today. Oh. He's spying on Stefan through a pair of binoculars. Go away, go away, go away, go Go away, go away, go away, go away, go go Stefan! Oh, Stefan, are you home? Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Sally. Oh, no. Hi, Jerry. Where are you going? We're going to the kite festival. Why don't you come along and see the kite? Okay, I will. 
kites. Hmm. A kite festival. Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, there's an octopus. Hooray. Uh, sorry, Big Dog. Again. Hey, Big Dog, come and have a look. They're making kites. We should make one, too. Go and make a kite. Okay, I'll be into that. Whoa. Okay, okay I've got to make myself recording. a kite for the festival. I need paper, sticks, glue, and string. <laughs> I've got all that with me. Nice and smooth. Hmm, now... Two sticks that way. Yeah, that'll work. Hmm. Bit of glue on the edges of the paper. Um, Cat, look, I've got all these pieces of fabric. We could make a clock kite. That would fly pretty well, I think. With such oh, big dog. Everybody knows you've got to make a kite out of paper. Silly <laughs> silly. <laughs> Speaking of which, I better find some. A really big one. I better find some. I'll just pinch some of this. <laughs> Bad Muppet. <laughs> look, Tom Cat, I made one. Get rid of that big dog. This is what you need. Oh, now come watch. On. Just cut a bit here. Meant to be mm. non violent. Just no, your that's kite's right. terrible. We try it again. Try again. Uh, cut a bit here. Uh, hey! Hey, the wind's throwing out my paper away. <laughs> did, did his scissors just fly off in the wind? <laughs> that's not safe. Well, you know. Kind of what we went through recently. Yeah. Well, my my kite, Tomcat. Hey, I'm sorry, Big Dog. I'm gonna get you for this, you know that. Took me a lot of time, hard work, and patience to build this kite. Okay, okay, okay. You fix it. <laughs> I will. There you go, a little bit there. Good as new. Parisian. Uh, Parisian. Now, have a look at this. That's how you build a kite. Stop peeping through the glory I've got dog. it now. Hey, I've got this red sock. Could we make a kite from it? Yikes. He's even oh. got... Oh, that's You're so sock, stupid, dog. <laughs> How come you always call me Found stupid? Found it sitting here next to the glory dog. I don't know. It just comes natural <laughs> to you. Now leave me alone. <laughs> that's the next episode. <laughs> don't call me stupid. Me. Here, catch this. Oh, paint on my shorts. Oh, no. It didn't last long. Must not have been good paint. I got it all over me, too. Huh? Now we're in business. Hey, get off. <laughs> With some glue and string, I can make a great kite. Huh? I don't like oh, it when you make Oh, non-violent. Probably checked him out. Oh no. You broke my kite again. Get out of there. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, this How is looking like pretty that? good. I'm happy with my kite. I got glue stuck to my fingers. I can't get this right? thing off my That's exactly head. what I'm thinking. Like. A, non-violent, and suddenly, like, they're beaten up on each other. And then, like, oh, still, I got an idea. Not safe. Not safe. This tape must be banned in some countries. Well, I guess there's a reason why I can't really find much about <laughs> cartoons or companies. Hey, Stefan! What a beautiful kite! Stefan did the best! Oh, come on, Big Dog put a lot of effort into this. No, he Whoa. And it's flying, too. Whoa. Stefan's kite is awesome beautiful! Bro. He wins the first prize, I think! Thanks. Congratulations, <laughs> Stefan! Watermelon! Now we can all have a piece to celebrate. Hell yeah, watermelon. Some for you, Sally, some for Jerry, some for everyone. Was it free cut? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny law, I like that.
but how does the law define annoyance? Can you put, uh, you can soak the string in like diamond <coughs> dust or something, and then you can use your flight to go cut things down. I'm <laughs> called tight running, apparently. <laughs> how much attention Napestry of can pay the quick few words that we say. She knows exactly what episode's next. <laughs> Maybe it came up and said that and he was like, oh, that's what that means. He knows the words. Oh, Stefan is having a lovely time fishing in the stream. Oh, he's reading. That's cheap. You can't you can't just expect that Hey, I got a fish. Where'd he go? <laughs> he's too smart for that. There Fishies. you are. Gotcha. Oh, oh. Oh, you're so slippery! Huh? Wow! This is there our we go. One, episode, two, three, so four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fish! Oh, eight fish. How do you uncatch a fish? Mmm! <laughs> oh. I can just see cat. all those fish in my little tummy. <laughs> Oh, now he sounds like Teddy. I think I'll just swipe one, two, or three. Hey, so how many was one, it? One, two, three, four, five. Let me work this out. Eight minus five equals three. Eight minus three well, equals five. Three. Somehow Wait, three fish have disappeared. <laughs> just a few more. Five minus three equals two. Five minus two equals three. Another two fish have disappeared. This is very strange. Can't see <laughs> yeah, them run done around. That. Maybe they flopped back in the water. Oh look, <laughs> train fish. <laughs> They're all back. They must have just Maybe gone for they a just walk. went for a walk. Hey. Oh, yeah, right. Huh? Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. I like All my fish are home that. now. <laughs> Prediction. You must be psycho or something. Mm, let me try this again. Wow! One, two, three, four. <laughs> no four fish now. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Eight minus four equals four. Thought of itself out. He's got a. I don't know where they could be. Mechanics. That's fine. <laughs> Big dog, my fish keep disappearing. See, eight minus three Maybe equals five, and then new, five minus uh, two equals three, and then they all came back, and then they disappeared races. again, so the eight minus four leaves me with four Maybe fish. No. Don't you worry about it, Stefan. I'll watch them, they won't get away this time. He's gonna fall asleep. <sighs> Lazy dog. Like you. Hey, another one! Huh? What, what was that? Who? What? Come back! Oh, the fish! Come here, little fishy! Good killer, that fishy. Sorry, we like, got it. Suffocating. <laughs> Put it out of its huh? misery. Where's the They're all hey, what? now, big dog! Eight minus eight equals zero! Zilcho! No fish! Zilcho! Oh, I think I know what's going on. La dee lum dee dum dee dee. They're all your fish, Stefan. That's my favorite way hey. to say zero. Milk Whoa! Yeah! Ooh. 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 Kitty. Hey, he gets a crawfish now. We can have that cooked up as well. Oh, no. Extra, extra eats. Well done, cat. Well done. And they got huh? half a loaf of rye, too. Oh, look, Here you go, really Tom Cat. Sit right down. Oh. Whoops. Three fish for Big Dog. Nine minus three equals six. Three fish for Tom Cat. Six minus three equals three. And three for me, Stefan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yummy. Whoa. Oh. How did you do that? Three minus three equals Fish zero. bones are notoriously mm. terrible to deal with. Just pinch one of big dogs. Don't even think about it. <laughs> mm. 
You nasty cat. Get out of his... <laughs> Non-violent! No fish love. Huh? Give me back my fish, cat. Yeah. Hmm. I want one of them fishies up there. Stop it! Eat your own fish, you silly cat. You already did. Hey, come on, big dog, I'm hungry. Go catch your own fish. Give you a knuckle sandwich if you're hungry. Give me back my fish. Yeah, raw fish. Yeah, and the the kid was just sitting there chewing hey, on. Hey, he fish heated tail. it up. <laughs> He's a heated up fish tail. Oh yeah, it was cooked over the fire. You were wrong. A Romanian film production. The troublesome boy type. This is the one that you were looking forward to, because what the hell does that title mean? He's gonna get blackmailed with nudes he sent to somebody. Uh -huh. Got catfished. That said funny photos in French. I really like the theme song. Yeah, me too. I have to put it on the tape time vinyl. <laughs> Although we're going to have to probably sort that out sometime soon, so that we know what we're putting on it. And Mr. Rooster Crows to announce a new day. All the animals are into their usual morning routine. Even the naughty tomcat. Oh, what are the non-violent? Shooting slingshots at birds. Stefan is looking through his photo album. I like taking photos of all my animal friends. See, that's what you should do. Take no, photos of the space. birds, not hit them with rocks. Duck! No, no, a duck. <laughs> Doing a duck dance. A little duckling gives Stefan an idea. Idea. Hey, maybe I should take some more photos today. <laughs> A little duckling rushes around the farmyard, telling all the animals that they'd better look smart because Stefan was going to take their photos today. He sprung into action. <laughs> Hey! Good your day at school. <laughs> he even Found tells school. the grubby pig to have a shower. Well, maybe if someone let him sleep in a bed with sheets on it. Was it my year 11 photo where I just like, I Stephen still had my long hair. Busy by sitting up and I purposely just like wrenched it before I went and got my photo <laughs> taken. Meanwhile, nice. the pig so I look really have a fucking... <laughs> I, I look I'm... ratchet in the picture. It's fucking you know, hilarious. I think for my year 11 <laughs> picture was the one where I was wearing the black school captain's jumper. <laughs> with the little badge that said school captain. And I wasn't school captain. <laughs> I was gonna say, I doubt you were school captain. Nope. It's not your style at all. No, but my uh, my ex lady uh -oh. friend. What's Tomcat up to now? <laughs> she did. She was. Of and course. He let me wear her jumper, even though we had been broken up for many years. She was still a good friend. Her silliness. Those are the best kind of friends. Yeah. Silliness friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we put the cow back in the book for rain. That's, that's fantastic. She's kind of cute though. <laughs> Who is it? I don't know. Mrs. Hen is so proud of her eggs. Well, you just wait until we eat them all. Then. Yeah, do them straight. <laughs> Chop off her beak. Ah. <laughs> oh. Nice picture of the blue cow. Piggy, you get up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now there's some violence we can get, but hey! Hmm. 
Yeah, he's going for that uh, Renaissance style. Hey, guns! Nonviolence! Hit! So much nonviolence! What the heck was that? Was that a goat or a llama or a what? Everybody is nearly ready. Watch the birdie. <laughs> doesn't matter. The goat llama thing doesn't get a photo. Hmm. He took his overalls off the thing. He had to. And well, how are we supposed to think while wearing overalls? Uh oh, <laughs> Naughty Tomcat is up to no good. <laughs> He's taking Stefan's photographs and cutting them up. Oh. Why would he do that? Because he's a jerk. Oh, no, that's he's rearranged them. Behavioral issue. He's just an artist. The animals can't believe their eyes. What happened to my photo? A pig he had inspiration. A pig rooster. And the duck pig? <laughs> Does non-violence mean something different pig. in Romania? Yeah, I'm getting the feeling. I guess it was also like, what is this, 70s, 80s? Duckling yeah. tells Stephen that Tom so as long as there was no mask cutting out pellets, it was fine. Dad, That's Dad, it. You ruined my photos. If you're lucky, we might forgive you. All right, then. I know, right? <laughs> Thankfully, they're all dead now. Oh. This time everybody is in the photo and everyone is happy on the farm again. Sphere seed. Don't miss the next exciting adventures of Tom and Stefan and their friends. Six more and volumes will be available soon in your local store or leading video outlet. Six more volumes will be available. Six more? Wow, this must have been like a... No, I don't ads. think they ever got made. This is only volume one, and I think it's the only one that's around. They, no, they wouldn't advertise. advertise. They wouldn't advertise more if there wasn't more, right? We've seen so many tapes that have done exactly that. I guess, but... <laughs> So maybe the cartoons it's never exist. been like six more coming. Yeah, the cartoons exist. The cut, but whether they dubbed it or not, mm, whether that's... the company failed before they dubbed it, that was fun. Possible. I like the cheap dubbing. Excuse me. Uh, I told you to go to bed, mate. Stop. Why go to bed when there's a lap to sit on? It's not the lap. It's there's food on the bench. No food. It's that way. That way. Yeah, I changed my leg position. Oh god, yeah. then. Can you pass me the bug spray? Ooh. Bang! Dead fly. Dead I have to go close the goddamn doors, because that's where it's come from. She's left the door open. Outdoor flies. Indoors. That's not right. Okay. So, cartoon's over. Jackson was not in the slightest. He didn't even look up at the television in the slightest. No, but he might when he sees trains. So, uh, yeah, we'll try trains. Uh... So this is Climbing the Summit. It's produced by V-Line Video, which is... I'm the, actually intrigued by it. The, uh, railway I want to see some of those classic yeah. V-Line trains. It says running time 40, but it's one of those short tapes. See how we go. Right. I have anywhere to be today. Isn't that right, Jackson? Mm. Thanks for the follow, Shodian. Is it Shodjan? Or Shodjan? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. I'm also stupid, so. It's that. Shodan. Isn't it a, a, a fighty thing? I'll admit my fighting game knowledge is quite minimal. I played Smash Brothers for those few years. <laughs> Didn't really play anything else. Oh. <laughs> Flush fight. <fine. laughs> <laughs> I would love to have one of those tapes. Oh man, I love that V Line logo, honestly. Yeah, you want that on a t shirt, V Line video? Yeah. You wear it on the train? Yeah. <laughs> 
Jackson, look. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Straight back to these. They're also costly with me. Ah, slow TV. You, if any of you guys have a YouTube channel, right, and you really want it to get monetized quickly, do this. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh, we have a host. And he was standing there the whole time. This is Heathcote Junction, the highest point on the railway line between yeah. Melbourne and Albury. Here the rails reach a height of 349 metres above sea level to cross the Great Dividing Range. You're talking about um, yeah, which one? Flemish dog. <laughs> yeah, Flemish dog does it. Yeah. The line opened in 1872, with the station opening in 1885 as Summit. The name later being changed to Heathrow Junction. Although no Whoa. longer a junction, the branch line to Bendigo that left from here was closed in 1968. The name has been retained. We love all our fellow VHS In 1962, yeah. the standard gauge line between Melbourne and Usually Auckland I'm wearing one of Flemish Dove's t-shirts, but not changed today. But rail Eppie operations today. between Melbourne and Sydney. Eppie! Tuesday, the 20th of March, shirts. 1990. I'm wearing some random train YouTube stuff, right? <laughs> the Great Divide. Some guy. Got a moustache, I think. A total of 33 freight and passenger may may not trains be some <laughs> by our cameras. Mm. So settle Literal back or and otherwise. watch the variety of traffic climbing the summit. Baby songs. <laughs> baby. Baby songs. Yeah, baby songs. It's 6.24 baby. <laughs> and usually the early morning commuters travel by rail motor. Today they have rail a motor. of a passenger Doesn't train a year on pulled it? by B61. Yep. It's not here though, it's in the tape. Uh, 1990 I think it's oh. 1990? Come on, train. I'll say, sometimes it bothers me a little bit how, like, people act like they, they love obscure and, like, retro content, and then... I mean, name... other than... in fact, not, not even including... It, like, not even excluding, I mean, including every single one. Name one, like, retro and slash obscure VHS streamer who is genuinely like as successful as they should be based on how big the craze is none oh, of them oh now i was wondering where you were going with that none of them oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's not me saying i wish we had more viewers i'm i'm happy with our, our cute little show I, th I have a feeling that um the amount of people that want to watch the content found as opposed to the amount of people who just want to find the content that's what is the offset I think a lot of the uh, the craze is people playing around with it, not so much watching other people's. But you, you, you say at rebroadcasting other people's content with a laugh there, but so many people do that. Yeah. And so many it, content creators are famous literally for just watching other people's stuff and reacting to it. Yeah, reaction videos were huge. At least this way we're putting in a little effort digging up stuff that's not being shown on the Yeah, TV exactly. Box. Exactly. And there does seem to be that interest, but not as much. You know, Found Footage Festival should be one of the, the biggest shows on the planet, X36, I with its empty It should be one of the, the apex quarry. absolute, and like, behemoths of, 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 like, live comedy, I reckon. The time is 6.55. But it's not, because people don't actually care that much. It's sad. That's not true. It means we get to know our viewers personally. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. I wish people were more successful for the effort they put in. You know? Yeah. People got more credit. Yeah, it's not easy cutting up every single commercial and putting it out there. There's a whole bunch of us that do it. You know? Yeah. I know. And just none of you, none of you get the credit you deserve. We're going to have Kate Keeper on probably next year once we get a big pilot and commercials up and do a commercial off. That'd be fun. Yeah. That would be really fun. Where is right on Keeper schedule from? at 7 o'clock is the second passenger train of the day. Double heading the set is T395 and P22, with the P providing power for the air conditioning and lighting for the carriages. Okay. 
Yes, gotta reiterate. It's not that I, I think that we deserve more viewers. I think we're... I think I, I like our small little thing where we have friends who pop in every now and then a new person will show up. I like that. But it's just like... Again, I think Found Footage Festival is the best example of just... They should sell more than five t-shirts? They should sell six t-shirts. Mm. Seven on, on my computer. God damn it! You got that? <laughs> lungs broken. That's better. Keep it lungs. We'll do a live show one day. We definitely need to get a bit more work done on it. I feel like we've got enough content for at least, you know, an hour long show. Yeah, we We just need to make the time to kind of decide what. We want it as A to B like with the 655 X Seymour Pass stops at B, the junction uh, on time at 7:35. SRA for. locomotive 8168 climbs the grade Ooh, with the super freighter. Behind the loco is 1,659 tons of freight in 32 bogey wagons on the standard gauge from Sydney. Twenty-four hour stream of old commercials. Show Dan Field, absolutely welcome to name drop your other followers Twitch. Yeah, name. we are way cool with sharing. We actually have a list showing. in the Discord server of other people who do similar stuff to us. Like, yeah, we literally have a list so that we can keep track of what people are doing and like. Anyone else is curious, they can look at that list and find someone else that offers similar kind of stuff. So, yeah, we're all that. Always, inclusion. always name drop. Always name drop. We are happy to up on. You know. Also, I might like to just sit and watch some of their stuff. Well, that's that's kind of because I do that. <laughs> yeah, I've got gotten BCR. I'm following them. I think they're on the list. Yeah. yeah. Love that channel. I, I remember when I found that channel, they were playing a bunch of random stuff and I like was just having a real bad day and I sat down and probably watched it for about four hours. <laughs> it cheered me up. Yeah, they, they actually got pretty big for a while. I don't know if they're still doing well, but for a while they were bringing in quite a few viewers. Roaring That's through so the junction cheeky. on time at 7.55 is the Melbourne Express. I was actually thinking about the Chris Jericho list today. I was remembering that segment where the New Day all went on the list and every time one of them get put in the list that act like it was the end of the world. That was one of my favourite segments I ever saw. Like the whole time Xavier was like laughing at the other two like, Haha, you're on the list now! And then when he gets put on the list he's like, No! No, 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 no! <laughs> that was a, a great, great little segment. So what VHS rips you mean is now we can click and talk on a slow TV in the train? Ashes. I don't think that, I haven't heard of that. that channel is Five not on this. Later, is that Twitch or is that YouTube on the train radio mast, diesel I will just car add it to press the summit to pick up students show. going to Seymour. And I shall add them to my, my list of... Watch out, there's a train! Stand behind the line, stand behind the line! Ah! Is this like a little one carriage train that can take kids yeah. to school? It's kind of cool. Oi, language! Thank you. UG, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we can. It's Australian. One of our comedians have taken off the TV. I'm translating it. No. Being a comedy himself. <laughs> You're not one of those people, Shodan? Following the Melbourne Express on the standard gauge at 8.20... It's true. Train lovers are just... 
crazy it's about it. Like, absolutely Cook's crazy. And that's Insane. why I say, if you have a YouTube channel and you want it to, like, pick up... Just one video of a train. You want to pick up steam. <laughs> Just go film some trains. I heard they're dressing our uh, steam engine up as Thomas again soon. Yeah, I think they do that, like, once a year or something. <laughs> thought about taking him, but... Not yet. It might be too much fun. But they do like a big, like, bear kind of deal, and I'm not really sure. But we'll see how we go. I only got hit by a train once. Being silly and playing on the train track and fell over and I like, wrecked myself move like I was genuinely like the train was coming on the track until I fell off. Making work at its 165 tonne line is A62. As it races the Golden Valley Road to the Spencer Street at 8.45. Yeah, but that's not a real train, that's just a little golf car. <laughs> 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 I believe for copyright later, reasons they don't call it Thomas anymore. Just as easily, is N460, <laughs> for legal reasons they, they've called it something else. On the Murray River. I can't remember. Thomothy? <laughs> well, it is true, like, people actually do go on holidays just to watch trains. Yeah. Go look at them. Uh, railway journeys around the world, we've got about 30 of those states from different places. Thomas has always been chilling in Time Station. For those I hate it. in the States, yes. Four minutes ahead of schedule at 9.19 and the drive at 66. Four minutes ahead of schedule with V-Line? <laughs> They're lying. What's the rule? They're line. lying. No, it <laughs> never happens. It's impossible. To promote Melbourne's bid for the 1996 <laughs> Olympic Games, they failed. Yes, when uh, 96 well, definitely not Melbourne because thousands of Sydney. The intercapital daylight with its kaleidoscope of coloured cars. Enough of the spark around the Commonwealth Games. I doubt we'll ever get it. With <laughs> in front, it's had a good run through the suburbs, reaching here at 9:39, <laughs> four minutes ahead of time. <laughs> it's not, there's no way! It cannot be four minutes ahead of time! V-Line doesn't do four minutes ahead of time! <laughs> You're right, Flash. That, it's, it's full of shit. Maybe they were better in the 80s. I mean, I suppose there was less people on the Geelong line, like significantly less people on the Geelong line back then. So it might have been slightly better back then. Heath Clitcher. With the toppers full of rock, X36 it's slowly me, hauls its Kathy, load of 908 tonnes up the 1 in 50 grade, reaching the summit at 9.45. <laughs> yeah, V Line's pretty bad because they like. Oh. I think I think it's what their tolerance for lateness is like ten to fifteen minutes. <laughs> I didn't know there was a rail strike in Canada. I would not have known anything about that. Uh, we're such insensitive jacks. I don't even know what's happening in this country anymore. I know I... what's happening in, in Paris. I don't. What's happening in Paris? It's the Paralympics. Oh, the Paris Olympics. The Paris Olympics, yeah. GP's getting quite a lot of golds. Australia's got a few. Oh, good. I didn't even watch the Olympics. I didn't watch the Olympics. I don't care about the Olympics. I just like the Paralympics. It's much more interesting to watch someone run with only one leg. 
I want the drug, the, the, the drug Olympics. Yeah. So we can take steroids and stuff. Let's Olympics. see how far we can push the human body to its limits. It just makes way more sense, right? Like they actually, um, the Gruen report actually made an ad for that. Oh, good. Go Gruen. I love that show. Ooh, I haven't watched that. Get back into it. But really, they should like. Just if everyone signs a waiver, can you imagine? The advances in medical science that could happen as a result of that. Just think about it. Super exciting. Saving. Who's saving? Oh, okay. You're not too old. I just didn't get into fun fantasy. Yeah, me either. Probably should have. I wish I had. I feel like that's a series I would have really enjoyed. Had you I can just... start by watching the movie, The One With In Space. I did watch that one. Yeah, me too. That's all I that is. I think that's. There was no choker bodies or whatever they're called anywhere. That was the only Final Fantasy media that I consumed when I was... And it's got nothing to do with Final Fantasy. I wouldn't know, because I don't know anything about Final Fantasy, but... I only know people like from the Kingdom Hearts that use some of the same characters. Oh, I don't know. No idea. Maybe. Yeah. It's I don't remember good. enjoying it either, but... I thought it was a I cool movie. It. I knew it had nothing to do with Final Fantasy, it was going to piss everyone off, but I thought it was a cool little sci-fi. Also, when I went to see it, I think I got to watch one of the, um, the Animatrix shorts before it. Yeah. Animatrix was fucking wild. At 9.56, in 4.59, trying to catch up a couple of lost minutes, speeds up the <laughs> There we go. But only a couple, that's where the lie is. Yeah. <laughs> By a Days couple later. of minutes. It's more like half an hour. Kids aren't getting to school on time today. <laughs> if they're on a V-line, you've got to drop them off an hour early at least. <laughs> if you know for a fact there's not buses, you've got to give them about 20 minute leeway before their trains are to arrive. It was more like a Starcraft movie, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Of course, they couldn't do a StarCraft movie without the crew Not a train, but still on rails, is this standard gauge high rail vehicle, bound for some maintenance further up the track. Apex quarry trains have been a feature of freight operations for is many years. Is that a cow? Years. At 11.25, T409 and S312 bring empties Please over the hill, again, heading to the line east. trains. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're basically going to end up on a bus anyway. Been bad lately, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Been real bad. Yeah, most of the, the lines from Little River to all the way out have been buses. But they said they just built a new station out there as well, out in Marshall. Oh, God. I remember when I was in high school, Lunchtime someone train caught the Albany, train heads pretty badly. Pretty oh, I know what you mean, I remember that. Yeah. Makes easy work. That was around the corner of my house. It yeah, was indeed, yeah. I actually met... I think cousin? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's school then. A while later. And, yeah. To say that it was not a... place they were comfortable being. Ten minutes later, 8173, at the head of 671 tons of empty car wagons, top the lunch time train is on the food for factory. a schedule or other time that's 12 15 at its destination. Time travel here? I mean, Milan will be very happy when it's when time travel is invented, that's for sure. They'll, they'll be stoked. Still and they'll still run late, yeah, they'll still have to get buses. They could have den liners and they would still fuck it up. Because <laughs> den liner never fucked anything up. 
Well, then it's Lina did. Everything that Decade did. Yeah, decade. Are they seats on the roof? Hell yeah! That could be a gnarly ride. <laughs> <laughs> Just two minutes later, and the sonic replacement R761 <laughs> and a small load steams north to Seymour. Oh, oh, this happens every time. That's a cool train. That is a cool train. Steam rail. Here are trains from all directions. I know. Whatever you just said, I agree. So many two tricks. You know the other reason it probably would be worth taking him on the Thomas the Tank thing? Because mm -hmm. I could instead just get on a train with him, take him to Southern Cross Station, and he would be like stoked for the whole day. <laughs> Locomotive and then I would not spend with its Sydney bound standard gauge freight of 30 wagons and 851 tons. And while you're there, you Some of the get wagons some are empty steel wagons returning to Port mm, Kempton. The wagons brush the trees at 13.02. I don't have Mad Max there anymore, though. No. I'm sad about that. They moved all their little toys. <laughs> Barreling down them tracks. Yeah. I think the uh, train bomb that we're watching have inspired him to go and play with his trains. Mm. Gordon's not on the track properly, but it's still going around. I mean, that's what Gordon does, right? Messes things up. <laughs> Quick, throw your trash in. Yeah, by the end of its line, it's just full of old Christmas trees. <laughs> what do you want? Now, with 1,444 tons behind them, S312 and T392 make slow progress as they haul another load from the apex quarry. This one is heading to Westall in Melbourne's southeastern suburbs. The time is 1342. At least it's not the year. Gotta take the rocks to Melbourne so they can make countertops or something. Taking my marshmallows and leaving. Making its third appearance today is Diesel Rail Car 42, arriving at the summit a couple of minutes late at 13.58, with the 13.05 <laughs> Expenser Street. Oh, a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Also making its third appearance is X-36, with return empties for the Kilmore East Quarry. The time is still going. But it's causing problems again. What was this train called? X-32? X-36? Yeah. What a cool name for a train. What is it? X-36. X-36. Yeah. One of the Wolverine clones or something. Expected 36 minute delay. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no, not the tape, man. The little Gordons are still... What is it? I think it's, uh, the Thomas and Percy over there. Oh, it's a Percy, not Gordon? A Gordon no, green. That one. That's Gordon. That's oh. Gordon. I thought Gordon was green. No, no, Gordon is blue. Oh. Gordon's the big, long blue one. Uh, shows how much I know about it. Yeah, but I'm autistic, so... <laughs> ...do not cause any problems for 8180, <laughs> yeah, 8166 on their journey from Dinan to Enfield and Cooks River. My job They reached know. the summit at 1450. Shut up. I don't know how to stop them. They're like, some of them have little switches where you just flick the switch <laughs> on and off. Those ones are like, at they 15, talk to each 16, other. So you press the button four, six, and then oh. they go, and I have no idea how to stop them. I remember the, um, See if I can figure it out. the dinosaur yeah. toys, the dinosaur train toys used to do that as well. You turn them all on in the toy store, and they just have conversations, and you walk off. No! For the no steam ahead. Cars, T411 clears the station at 16.03, heading for Enfield. <laughs> Stop playing with toy trains. I don't know how to turn it off! This, to this train's got cars on it. This is the... Oh. I want to... I want to do that. Can I, like... Put my car on the train like that and go somewhere? Maybe. I'd love that. I don't want to have to actually drive all the way to Adelaide, but when I get there, I'd kind of like my car. You'd think so, right? Yeah. It makes sense for that to be a thing. Just don't want to lose my car because it accidentally like got sent to go. It's 1621. And yes. the shadows again. The easiest Whoa. way to get to Morocco. N459 Australia. Runs through non-stop. With the cobbles. all the time. You get on a train, you fall asleep, and next thing you know, you're in Morocco. That's right. Did you see that diamond transition? That was fantastic. It was pretty great. Hmm. I don't need to be in the car. I just want to know if I can take my car. After a day in the classroom, it's 16:46 like and that. back home. Courtesy again of diesel. I know I can do it on the um, on the Spirit. I've done that before on the boat. Mm. Taking my car on. Apparently, you can do it on one of the uh, the boats that just cross the bay as well. Oh, really? Mm. Actually, no, that makes sense. The the ferries, yeah. Ferries. Go ride with the ferries. Yeah, that's right. Funk. Yeah, you can. It's kind of expensive though. You should probably do it one day so we can go off shopping out at Sorrento and stuff. I did look at the prices at one point, and yeah, it's not cheap. I thought it would be like a kind of thing that you could just do as a day trip, but. Costs actual pocket money. I'd be happy with like under twenty dollars, but I think it was like under forty or something, or more, under sixty. Sorrento, ferry to Sorrento. Yeah, you can. You definitely can. Sounds fun. Sorrento. The quiet of the early evening at 1708 yeah, is disturbed as X-36 struggles up the grade with a load of 988 to do it, right? <laughs> Let's just say we're going... You want to come home, yeah. I mean, maybe. Then return also on the same day in the afternoon. Vehicle. Standard vehicle. Height of vehicle. Under 2.1 meters. No. Travelers. Well, one driver and one adult. Search Two for pairs. Let's see. The total cost would come for, for both of us would be overall 200 bucks. Jeepers. That would include the car. 
That's not a day trip. Both, that's both ways. That's not a relaxing, nice day trip. That's a costly I mean, thing you got to save up for. Yeah, but I did look at dates for November, so that would be time to save up. <laughs> Specifically, that's why I looked that far ahead. Maybe it's cheaper on a weekday, though, because I did accidentally click a weekend, I think. We'll find out. What if we went on a, let's say, a Friday? No, let's do it. Let's like, pretend that Tuesdays are free for everybody. Oops. This isn't the best vantage point. Camera angle. All right. No, it's apparently like. Look at that little Jeep. Same. Interesting. It's tiny. Hi, Jeep. 16 minutes later, at 17.24, R761 heads back to Melbourne with its special train. R761 is a special train going back to Melbourne. I wish they had footage of, like... Spencer Street Station. <laughs> I'm sure we've got a Melbourne one somewhere. That'd be cool. I've got a whole bunch of them. I just haven't gone through them. Specifically, this one was just on the top of a recent. The first of the class. evening commuter services from Melbourne arrive at Heathcote Junction three minutes later. P21 I'd also love to see hill. <laughs> like old footage of Geelong Station because it's barely changed. But it would be nice to kind of have a look into the past. We're 32 minutes into this train spotting video and no one's taken any drugs yet. I know. Fuck. It's disappointing. It's not what I signed up for. <laughs> no one's died of AIDS yet. But I gave it half an hour before deciding that. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> From the shade at 80 Ooh, eight, it might happen. Seven heads north with the return Twin Cities Limited. I always say to people that like that the, the problem with you know the Netflixes and the you can't have the wrong movie and that no well it's it's not so much that but like all these streaming services have the thing of like. Your choice does not matter at all. Mm. So, like, when you when you go into the video store and you would be like, "What am I going to rent today?" What you pick then and there is what you got. Yeah. Like, you couldn't just be like, "Nah, 15 minutes in, not feeling this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and scroll through another 30 things before I I find something to watch." And so you ended up like, even if the first 15 minutes was kind of crap, you watched it all anyway. Yeah. You'd like. What, what else were you going to do? You didn't, like, there was nothing else. I mean, the, the one of the main reasons this show kind of came up is because we were both the type of guys summit. to watch every it's single VHS in the house. I watched all the exercise to tapes, to start to finish. Scene. Yeah, that's it. Well, I paid five ninety nine. may as well sit through the whole damn thing. Yeah, yeah. I was also the guy who went down to the, and got, you know, those ridiculous packages where they're like, you can have 20 movies for $5 if it's on the weekdays for weeklies. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'll have all of those things and then I watch it. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, like, you would find movies that you wouldn't otherwise watch because maybe the first 15 minutes were slow. But then you're like, you know what? This is getting pretty good. And you would sit through the whole thing and be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. But also, the made for VHS slash made for DVD market. It's way better than the, the made for streaming market, I feel. I don't think I've seen a lot of those. I mean, this is quite a lot, but because there's so much money in them, um, you can't really tell the difference. I did kind of watch the, um, 
the I, I do watch the slasher ones that come up mm. for interesting slasher reasons like the Mary Had a Little Lamb and Three Blind Mice and those sort of things yeah. I watch those but I feel like they kind of feel more direct to DVD than streaming yeah yeah I'd, I'd say that's probably accurate but you're more likely to find those in something like Shudder which is a specialist streaming platform as opposed to your like Amazon Prime which is just like hey another superhero thing or mm. hey here's this three hour movie that really didn't need to be made but <laughs> yeah box art man and also what about like uh brain wellness the uh, the whole trip down to the video store is so uh stimulating this so it is it is stuff and just the, the and smell. Scrolling is... All I have to say is the smell. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, the movie popcorn for some reason. Even if though... I could get that smell mm. as like a just a spray, a blockbuster cologne. Yeah, I would. I would. I'd use that. <laughs> ah. But yeah, that's that's kind of how I feel about it. It's just like kid, kids, like this current generation of of young kids will never know the joys of like finding that one obscure TV show or movie. And becoming obsessed with it. Check out Flash trying to be obscure by saying Rabbit Grannies. That's a trauma film. I'm pretty sure I had that on VHS down at the rental store. I don't know if I had much. I don't remember seeing much trauma at the one I went to. Well, I had all of the Toxies and, and like Tromeo and Juliet. We did have a bunch of like straight. Like, I'm pretty sure my dad used to laugh about Houseboat Horror. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they had that one. Oh, man. But we never rented it. Because I think he just thought, like, nah, there's probably more interesting stuff. He was more of a sci-fi guy. Sci-fi sci -fi guy. Yeah. And a slasher horror, kind of. I just like anything with blood, beasts, and boobs. Yeah, me too. Yay, no deafening sound yet. Well, I don't know, the, the ticker is still, still ticking, and it does say that it... Well, not here, but it said that it ran for 40 minutes, and we're not up to 40 yet. <laughs> yeah, bonus feature, color bars. Yeah, and then you have to take your hundred biddies back. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's just it's just something I think about a lot. Is I think that like the. I mean, it's no different to how like even watching TV back in the day. It's just like, if you missed an episode, you had to wait for a rerun. <laughs> if you're lucky, you'll get it. Like five years from now <laughs> and that's why things like monster of the week and exactly stuff worked back then and never but I, I still prefer it personally anyway because for me it's like i don't necessarily have the patience or desire to sit through 30 seasons of a, a show where every season is fucking 26 episodes and it's intense with story that you have to yeah play. it's just i can't pay attention to that I long just so those characters can, that i fell in love with go do something dumb if i can watch five episodes and then not come back to it for three years and it's still as cool. and it's it's still just like it doesn't matter i just i remember the characters that's all i need to know so you're having a uh, neurospicy relationships with characters from tv shows yeah, kind of, you're yeah. kind of okay not talking to them five years and then you watch it again it's just like you never left yeah pretty much <laughs> pretty much five or six channels but like as you get busy busier and busier in life like i've definitely i'm definitely a much busier man than i was 10 years ago right the idea of sitting down to watch a whole season of anything is just intimidating as hell mm. and then i have to remember amongst all the other stuff that i have to do to keep watching it. <laughs> oh, God. I've been watching Sven because I've been sick. It's real comforting. Yeah, horror hosts and MST3K are just like comfort food. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it's actually stopped now. Yeah, it's actually stopped now. Give me back this beeline tape. And have a look I at like that tape. Sure. That was a good one. Yeah, I think there's a few more around the same. Yeah, 1990. Yeah. Climbing the, so basically the tape was he stood at the summit and watched all the trains yeah. that went past and then explained what trains they were, what time it was and what they were carrying. To be fair, that's cool. You you make something like that today and put it on YouTube and it's a success. Yeah. I'll, Guaranteed. I'll put this on YouTube and make it a success. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll get actually one of the, the uh, few things that we've been specifically in a lot of trouble for backing up rather than 
you know, please just take our copyright money was a train video that somebody filmed and we contacted them and he was like, yeah, don't put it up. And we're like, well, can we buy it on DVD or something? Is there anything, anywhere we could get it? He's like, no. Awesome. Yeah, completely just, no one's allowed to watch this ever again. <laughs> Damn trains. So hopefully this won't do that. I doubt it will. It's V-Line. I, I... <laughs> you hope it is actually V-Line. I mean, it could have been it done is. by somebody. Who I know, it's definitely just... V-Line. No, it is. It's they'll like own, the, they'll own the copyrights to it. Okay. In fact, I should ask my dad to have a look around because he it's works for V-Line for the next few months before he retires. Mm. should ask him if he can you steal ask all around and see if they've got any like old VHS tapes. Steal all the archives. Get the companies to get in contact with me and, and well, I can do give it me too, some jobs. So. But I like doing it. <laughs> I don't mind doing it, especially now. It's a lot easier for me to do now. This setup makes it incredibly easy. Mm. Thankfully. Uh, so, uh, no promises for future episodes, of course. But we, I, we've given up on. I do have on a that. tape that I found that seems to have been. Uh, it's on one of these short short reels mm -hmm. uh and it's a short film from australia and it's even got the countdown at the front so somebody oh. obviously got it from somewhere and we're gonna watch that soon because it's i have an interesting double feature for it but also oh. i found a uh, tape of eat carpet and i think we should definitely probably see if there's too much tits in it or not and watch something from it I did see... I can always sense the things if you're too worried about I it. I can sense the things as well. well no. I can bring it in that way. But, um, yeah, I, the first few seconds of the episode, it had, like, uh, ladies dressed up in uh, Christmas lingerie. Fuck yeah. Going, mm. and it wasn't even a short film. It was just a bumper in the middle of it. I'm like, I remember loving this show. <laughs> we should also watch some Big Brother Uncut. Oh, no, we shouldn't. And I pressed play on that, and it was just tits in my face, and I was like, oh, I'm sick of this now. Oh, it would be a nostalgia trip. I'd be happy to find that some was, porn, but that was just not interesting to that me. That was must-watch TV for me when I was, like, well, even <laughs> on when I was 12 or 13. Yeah. Must-watch TV, that. You got some backed up on a tape somewhere? I do not, no. <laughs> no. Mm. Unfortunately not. Mm. I did, I used to have a tape. When I, when I was, like, 12, 13, that I did just tape, like, there was probably half an hour of naked news on it. Oh, yep, yep. Um, there used to be this show on one of the music channels, which was, like, mud wrestling or honey wrestling or something. I think I watched that as well, yeah. Yeah, I had, like, half an hour of that on there. I had half hour of Big Brother uncut. <laughs> and then some other show, and I just don't remember. One of... It, it was my jerk-off tape. Yeah, I found the Big Brother Uncut was most definitely Ben's jerk off tape. And Is I it just all Big Brother Uncut? Yeah. Fuck yeah. And um, I probably shouldn't say who Ben is if I'm going to name him. <laughs> um, but the other jerk off tape I found of his was a uh, fashion channel, uh, Midnight Music Videos, and it's really fucking hot too. Fuck yeah. Because, you know, porno is always too bright and dodgy and stuff, but like it, music videos, like they're making it cool and it's like naked ladies. So I'm like, yeah. There's like a market that for that. It you is. should definitely back that right on up. Yeah, I don't know where to put it aside from archive. Internet archive. Yeah. Flash, do you know where I could put a porno to, to to not be lost in in the world? Definitely Twitter. Twitter, Twitter will do it. Yeah, but motherless. I guess. Because you can't do Pornhub or like X videos and all that. Um, you can't use that. No, because they need verification of the people yeah, nowadays, don't they? They do, so you would need to provide all kinds of... Is Vimo okay with that sort of stuff, or...? I have no idea. Probably, actually. Yeah, if it's artistic, definitely. Yeah, just not the putting it in bit. Mm. Someone sent me a copy of Antichrist as payment for backing up a video, by the way. Sorry? Someone gave me a copy of Antichrist on Blu-ray. Ooh, Blu-ray. <laughs> have you seen it? I have not. Oh, I'm just talking about putting it in. It's one of those those fully X-rated horror uh, movies. You can have it if you like, want. Like like from the seventies kind of ones. No, or... it was new and it's got William Defoe in it. I think. Oh no, I have seen that. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I watched that on um, Foxtel, <laughs> and was like really surprised. Yeah. Hmm. Now, as soon as you mentioned him, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. No, I have seen that because <laughs> I specifically remember how like graphic the sex scenes were. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I was, but. <laughs> 
I didn't want the thing. I don't want a Blu-ray. But if anybody would like a Blu-ray of Antichrist, get in contact with me. No, the only Blu-ray I'm getting is um, Late Night with the Devil. Um, it comes with a VHS tape. comes with a VHS. Speaking of which, do you want to take that one underneath there? Mm. Add that to your collection? I mean, if I take it, I'm going to watch it. Oh, it's warm. Yeah, it's been on top of the pooter. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. I figure it probably does you more good than me. It's been on my... Uh... What do you call it? Tabs to buy myself a copy anyway. Yeah, just should anyway just to support them. Yeah, I guess so. Mm. All right. But alternatively, I'll just buy a record. Ooh. I don't know if if, the, if if you go on there and you're like you're gonna go buy yourself a copy and you see that their record is the same price, just buy the vinyl and just we'll swap. We'll do a swap. That yeah, sounds good. All right. Well, we're getting a little too chatty at the end of the day today for some reason. Oh, you know, probably because to... Jackson's being quiet and. He's he's down on his on his bed <laughs> with some candy. Nice. And his iPad. Nice. Which he's been doing that like all day, like all morning, that's kinda of what he was doing. Just candy so, and iPads. Not candy, but iPad, yeah. <clears throat> so I don't know, he might not be feeling That's why best. it wasn't charged. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, so anyways. Um hmm. I already talked about what I feel like doing for an episode yeah. soon, so I don't know what else to do at the end. Um, wrap up. Learn how to wrap up, Crastic. No. I don't know how to wrap up. I don't know how to wrap up. I'm terrible at saying goodbye. Like, I just, I'm, I've never liked doing it. It's why I, like, always hang around too long. It's because <laughs> I'm always like, how, how do people just end things? Like, how do you, how do you get out of these situations? You say, thank you for your time. And... Yeah, but like, but if you're at like a party or something, how do you say goodbye? It's so weird that... Like...